Hello, this is Michael with Bay Area Attractions, and today um, is Saturday, July 6th, and we're going to be continuing to celebrate the 4th of July weekend here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. The park is continuing the July 4th celebration um, this weekend. There's going to be some live music, uh, some specialty food, and tonight there's supposed to be a drone show. So today we're going to kind of just walk around the park, uh, kind of see what's happening. It already looks pretty busy. I got here um, maybe around 11.30, 11.40. Um, it seems to be quite busy today. It is a little warm right now. I think it's about 85 or so. And I think it's supposed to peak around 92 later today. I really like how they've decorated the park for the 4th of July. They had a lot of American flags all over, uh, flag banners, and you can see the fountain behind me, uh, two giant uh, beach balls. As you can see behind me, kind of the food court area, they have a stage set up and they have a band right now. It's a one man band playing right now and then later there's just another band playing this evening. They did mention there were supposed to be some specialty foods. I'm not sure where they are. I thought they would kind of be in this area. Um, where they usually kind of do these special events here. Um, but I don't see any, but we're still gonna get something to eat. Um, and if we find some such leaf food later, uh, we'll try that out. All right, I got my lunch now. I uh, just got a cheeseburger um, and some fries and a drink. Just finished lunch. Uh, you know, the hamburger was pretty good and, and enjoyed those fries or what. Um, next, I think we're just gonna kind of walk around. Um, kind of went over to Monsoon Falls, <laughs> just being warm, just kind of curious to see um, how the line is um, here at Discovery Kingdom. That's pretty much about the only um, water ride they had. They used to have um, like a rapids ride, but um, that thing's been closed for years now. I just made it over here to Monsoon Falls. Um, it's a little busy, but I kind of thought the line would actually be a little bit longer um, than it actually is. All right, that was fun watching people um, get wet. Um, I did notice the line's gotten a little bit longer in the last maybe about five, 10 minutes um, that I've been here, which I'm not kind of surprised um, as it gets a little bit more towards the afternoon um, that there'll be more people here and the heat's gonna be up a little bit. It looks like they're still working on, on Outer Outlook. Um, they do have a sign out front, so that's, uh, that's a good sign or that they're, hopefully they're uh, close to being completed. Hopefully you saw that the seals and sea lions uh, are all in the water. Sometimes they're out on the rocks, but probably it's really how they're like, hey, we're just going to stay in the water and stay cool. All right, next, I think we'll check out the DC University, how that's going. Um, when I came in this morning, it didn't look like Joker was running, so we'll check to see if that's running, but definitely uh, Batman and Superman were up and running. I just got over here to the front of the Joker and I was just gonna say, um, yeah, the, the ride is down, or what, but they just made an announcement that uh, the ride is open, as you see. Um, there's people in line, they're gonna get ready to ride. <laughs> Last time we were here, uh, Wonder Woman was closed. In fact, they had all this area kind of blocked off, so it looked like they were kind of doing some 
um, maintenance on the ride. I was just gonna get some shots of Superman. Unfortunately, the ride uh, just went down, so maybe we'll check back in later um, and see if it's up. As you kind of see, I mean, that man has a little bit of a wait for it. Um, I was just thinking those people um, hopefully have lots of water because like, they're right in the sun or there's like no shade um, for this ride when you're in the queue. Next, we're just going to take a walk around the rest of the park and uh, see how things are going. The drone show is going to take place in the stadium um, behind me. Um, I did ask because the sign did say you had to buy tickets. So uh, to see the show, it, the tickets are $10 each. Next up, we're going to check out the shark experience. Uh, maybe so we need to get out of the heat for a little bit. Okay, we kind of made it over to uh, kind of where all the animals are. But looks like a couple of the drafts are out. Um, right now I'm kind of looking at where the lines are. I don't see any list there <laughs> or the shades somewhere. It's pretty cool, but I see a few people over where the uh, cheetahs are. So I'm going to guess um, the cheetahs are probably out today. They have one of the cheetahs out today, but uh, he's just rusting in the shade over there. I don't blame him. It's pretty hot today. They have a couple of the cougars out. One of them was just relaxing in the back. I don't know if you can see. I got a shot of it, but he was kind of far in the back. Or was just laying up there on top of the rocks, and that kind of sheltered out. And the other one was kind of up front, um, just kind of pacing back and forth. Like a sidewinder safari has a little bit of a weight for it. Oh, it looks like because of the heat, most of the animals are too active today. They're just uh, trying to stay cool like the rest of us. Looks like boomerang's still closed. It kind of looks like in the back that there's like a crane or what there. So hopefully they're doing some work and um, Shride will be back up and running soon. Well, I was saying earlier, I wish there was more water rides, um, but White Water Safari is open. This is the first time I've actually seen this ride um, run before. I've, every time I come here, it's always closed. So um, I know the last few times we're here, um, it was kind of more uh, the end of winter and uh, springtime, so maybe they just don't have the ride open that time, and they just mainly have it open uh, during the summertime. All right, we're gonna take a ride on a whitewater safari because um, I don't know if the next time we have here if this ride's gonna be open or not. 
but you know it's a little bit warm and stuff so why not I right, just got off Whitewater Safari. That was a lot of fun. Um, it was good to kind of get soaked a little bit. Um, only waited about 15 minutes. The line actually moved pretty fast. Um, I sat in a boat with seven other people or what, so they kind of packed you in. Some of the boats I saw, six people, um, and some of the boats I saw up to like nine people. So I guess depending how big people are or what, you know, because obviously adults are a little bit bigger uh, than the kids or what. Um, I was right by one of the doors. So of course, when you go down and just the splash, there's nothing to block you compared to if you're like, kind of sitting in the middle or what. So my whole right side um, got pretty soaked or what, and my shoes and socks um, got pretty soaked too. I don't think they've been that soaked uh, since I came here and that day it rained um, back in May, but it's still lots of fun um, and got to cool down a bit. All right, earlier when I, when I came in, they said they were supposed to have specialty food and drinks. I've only seen two drinks of you just, I just um, had sign. It was a summer smash. Oh, and now I can't remember what the other one was. A fish bowl. I think it was called a fish bowl. But the other one, uh, a couple of places had signs for selling those. Um, but I haven't really seen any specialty food. I was kind of hoping, um, the area I saw you where they did the... Uh, Viva La Fiesta um, area. I was kind of hoping maybe that area they would have done like maybe like a barbecue. You, know, you could have barbecued like hamburgers, hot dogs, ribs. Um, you know, that would have been nice. Uh, kind of 4th of July uh, celebration food there. Next, I think we'll head over to Oasis of the Plaza. We haven't been there uh, today. All right, we're over here at Oasis Plaza. Um, looks like the only ride down still is uh, Kong, um, but looks like everything else is uh, up and running. The Cobra kind of had a short line. I was kind of surprised, but when I walked by, it didn't look like they were loading anybody, so I don't know if that ride was down and it was just uh, coming back up or what. Appreciate it. Appreciate Our it. Our dancing queen, that was Jay, everybody. That's me. Just like the letter. <laughs> so simple.
decided to stop, kind of take a break, a little breather today. Um, decided to get one of those specialty drinks. This is the fish bowl. It's got Sprite, um, coconut syrup, and uh, blue curacao syrup. So we're gonna taste, see how this is. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Very refreshing, especially on a day like this where it's really hot. A drink like this really hits the spot. It's kind of nice that they have the live music. It's just kind of nice to um, take a break and just kind of listen in for a little bit. It's about 6:30. Um, I'm just kind of hanging out right now. Um, the drone show doesn't start till about 9:15, so we've got a couple of hours. Um, so I don't want to do. <laughs> maybe just kind of hang out for a bit, kind of enjoy the park in the evening. Most of the time, usually I come. Usually by by this time, um, I've already gone or what? It's been a long day and. Um, a long drive home for me it's about an hour and a half drive um, from where I live up to Vallejo or what but um, so I don't know I think uh, I walk around the park in a bit see how it is um, kind of in the evening time okay it's almost 6 50 um, I want to come over here to the DC area I was kind of curious to see um, how some of the lines were um, a little bit later in the day all right walking my joker uh, it's closed so um, get obviously judge line when there's nobody in it. Um, kind of come over here to Batman. Uh, it looks a little shorter um, than it did earlier in the day. As you can see, there's a little bit of a line for uh, Superman. It's just about eight o'clock right now, so we got a little over an hour um, before the drone show. Um, we're actually gonna um, watch the show um, outside of the park. Um, I think it might be a better view than in the stadium. Might be a little bit wider. Um, have you ever been to Discovery Kingdom? Um, there's a parking lot. You park there and you gotta, you can take a bus or you can walk in. When you walk in, there's a little uh, walkway. There's like a little bridge um, right by where the lake is. So I think we're gonna probably watch the June uh, show in that area. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, there's some over there. Oh, it's a drone show. Yeah. Oh, look up. Look up. Show this Backwards and sideways. Come on, tell you, you don't want to. 
All right, that's it for the drone show. Uh, it was kind of interesting. Hopefully it came out okay. Because um, I know sometimes it looked like it was a little hard to see uh, just because of the angle we were at. Um, and I kind of kept on a wide shot because I just didn't know 
um, what they were going to do, their patterns and stuff. So I wanted to keep it kind of wide. Um, so, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And I also hope you enjoyed uh, spending this uh, 4th of July weekend with me here at um, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as we do new videos about different attractions around the Bay Area all the time. <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> How much subs you got? <laughs> like I say, if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button um, as we do new videos about different attractions around the Bay Area. Um, and we got Carnival coming up um, at Great America next week. And just after that um, is the County Fair uh, for Santa Clara County. Until next time, this is Michael with Bay Area Attractions.